Baby Lisa has been missing from her home here in Kansas City 10 days now, but we're getting an interesting look in the hours before Deborah Bradley, Lisa's mother, told police that she had put the baby down to sleep, which was 1030 last Monday night. And we obtained surveillance camera footage from a nearby grocery store that shows uh, Deborah Bradley walking in with a friend. She spent about six minutes inside the store. She bought some baby food, baby wipes, and a box of wine. And she was in there a total of six minutes, but everything from what we could see on that tape looks normal. In fact, at one point, Deborah Bradley was walking out of the store smiling. We also spoke with the woman who was working the cash register and checked out Deborah Bradley. And she says that everything looked fine. In fact, she's been seeing her for years, actually has seen baby Lisa. And she says that for all the time that she's known her, uh, Deborah Bradley and her and the baby's father, Jeremy Irwin, have always acted normally and always acted happy. She had a smile on her face. I mean, like she always does when she comes in here. She, you know, loves her kids to death. Um, you know, I always ask her how the kids are doing, you know. She tells me they're great, you know, so. And in what can only be described as another strange twist in this story, the family of baby Lisa is now working with a high profile private investigator, a former New York City police officer who's been nicknamed Wild Bill. The man's name is Bill Stanton. He says he's here to help out the family and really uh, also kind of deal with with media questions and, and that sort of thing. And Bill Stanton says that he will speak with reporters sometime on Thursday. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Kansas City, Missouri.